Hello everyone, this is Cassie with Platinum Scraps Time Out Thursday. This week we're going to do a two for one. This week I want to show you how to create your very own logo to print on the back of your cards. I also received a request to show how I use text boxes in Microsoft Word. When I first got into stamping a few years ago, I really wasn't that good at it, or maybe I just didn't have the patience for it, but I really wanted a way to put the logo on the back of my cards. So what I did about three years ago when I got back into stamping is I purchased these stamps on eBay. Um, there's a gentleman in Malaysia, I believe his name is Long Chai 747. Um, but these are, this is what they look like, my personal stamps. I always wanted a barcode stamp because I just, it makes your card just look like a professional card off the shelf. So I always wanted a barcode stamp. And then this stamp here with the butterfly, I use for family and friends when I make birthday cards, just personal cards for me to them. But I realized over time, a lot of the orders that I get for cards are bought cards in excess of 25 or more. And stamping gets a little old. So what I did, I used Microsoft Word and text boxes and I created my very own logo using the same thing, the barcode and just my information using a text box in Microsoft Word. Today I'm gonna to show you just how I did that. The first thing I did, I did a search on the internet just to find a basic barcode that I could use. That's the image that has one through six. The first thing I did with that image is I wanted to crop out the numbers. So if you right click on the image and show your picture toolbar, select the cropping tool and just crop the numbers right out. So that's the first step. The next step, as you can see from this image here, is to add the text box to insert your information. So next we're going to go to insert and select text box. When I create my text boxes, I never click inside this drawing area because it's just a pain to work with and move around. So if you click outside of the drawing area, you'll have more freedom with your text box. I move my text box down here, underneath my barcode. I'll type in my information. And then I can size it to fit. I have my screen magnified at 125% just to make it a little easier to view on the video camera. The next thing you want to do is you need to get rid of this outline around your text box. So if you double click on the text box, you'll get the format text box, text box dialog option. Select colors and lines. And then under the line option, just select no line and hit OK. So now you're almost done. The next thing you want to do is to group your two entities just in case you need to move them around. Right now we're at the top of the page and of course your logo will go on the bottom. So you want to be able to freely move this and they move as one instead of two. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll click on the first object, hold down your shift key, and click on the second object, which, which is your text box. Next, let your shift key go, and then right click on any of the objects, go to grouping, and select group. This will now allow you to move the two as one entity. So there are some of us who actually do our cards in the other direction. And don't worry, this same trick will work for you. The first thing I'll do here is I'll ungroup these two items and go back to having the two entities. Move this text box out of the way. And if you click on your image, you'll notice here that you have a handler that will allow you to rotate this image 90 degrees. You can actually go all the way around but you only need to go 90 degrees. 
Now your barcode is sideways. The great thing about working with text boxes is that you can rotate the text without having to redraw the box. So I'll slide my text box option up and this last option is for rotating your text and changing the direction. We'll click that once and it is currently in the right direction and all you have to do is pull your handlers. and add them back underneath your barcode. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll group them so that they move as one entity. Click on your barcode, hold down the shift key, click on your text box, let your shift key go, right click on one of the objects, go to grouping and select group. And now your object can move as one. The last thing I want to show you is that you can have multiple objects and use them to create your very own logo. Here what you see on the screen is I have a text box, the normal way that I just showed you. I have word art. And these two separate images, the books and the butterfly, were both created in Printmaster. So in order to do this, you just line each entity up exactly where you want it. Take my text box and come here. Can't grab the text box. There we go. And then you want to group all the objects together. So it's the same concept. You click on one, you hold your shift key, and then you click each individual object right click sorry about that I just let something go select each entity and we're gonna right click grouping and group that way now one separate entity so now you know how to create your very own barcode in Word and not just the barcode, but just your logo in general. So give it a try. Don't be afraid to ask questions. We'll be here for you. Now shut down this video and let's have fun crafting.